Hi there, and welcome to this course on creating real-time web applications using React, Golang, and RethinkDB. In this course, we'll focus more on learning through practical use of these technologies. So what exactly do I mean by that? Well, you and I have a goal to build a particular web application, and we're going to learn just what's necessary to create that web application. We aren't going to cover every nook and cranny of the technologies used. We want the quick gratification of making something useful as fast as possible. I think this approach is one of the fastest paths to learning. So let's get started. Let me set the stage for you. Imagine that you and I are freelance software developers, and we've just been given a big contract for a large client of ours. The job is to create a new web-based real-time support system for our client's support engineers. The app will be loosely modeled after Slack or IRC. The first phase of the job is to figure out which technologies we should use. Realistically, we could use several different technologies. On the back end, we could use Go, Node, Erlang, Scala, or Clojure. On the front end, we could use React, Angular, or Ember, and that's just naming a few of the many choices. So what's the best choice of technologies to use? Well, it's pretty hard to form an opinion on this unless we get our hands dirty. So we're going to build a prototype using what we believe could be a good choice, React, Go, and RethinkDB. So why React? You'll hear people mention things like, React is really fast, or the virtual DOM is awesome, or it's really simple. Those are all nice, but for me, I think the following quote best sums up why I like React. Because React is mainly a concept in a library just secondly, by Peter Martin. So exactly what does that quote mean? I hope to answer that in this course. Why Golang? Now, it's a modern language that's simple and well-suited for real-time applications because of its first-class language support for concurrency. Why RethinkDB? It's one of the few databases I know of that's focusing much of their efforts on real-time features, simplifying the complex engineering challenges typically involved with creating real-time applications. I think it's a good tool for the next wave of real-time applications. So what are we building? Our prototype app is going to be a simplified version of Slack. Here's a wireframe drawing of our app. It's pretty simple, really. We're going to have three main sections, channels, users, and messages. If you've used Slack, this interface should seem very familiar to you. Here's the basics of how our app will work. We've got communication channels in the upper left portion of the screen. Think of channels as a discussion room where the chat is focused on a specific topic. Examples of channels for our client might be hardware troubleshooting or initial setup. We'll set up the app so channels can be added by keying a new channel name into a simple form with a single input field. The app will have a list of currently connected users in the bottom left section of the screen. There's a simple form with a single input where a user can key their name. The right section of the screen will show the messages for a given channel. So when you click on a channel, the app will display the list of messages for that channel. Everything we do in our app will happen in real time. So if I add a new channel, everyone currently using the app will immediately see the new channel. When I key a message for a channel, everyone currently monitoring that channel will see the message immediately. We're going to start building our app's front end first. We'll just mock the data to start with, and then later we'll swap out the mock data with real data coming from our Golang and RethinkDB backend. In the next video, we'll learn how to use React, and we'll start writing our first React component. 